What is going on boys? Back again with another video. You seem to be loving the sampling videos, so I'm going to crack on with another one of them. Today, I'm going to be sampling some like old Italian thing. I know that for a fact. Yeah, before we get into it, please follow me on social media. Links will be in the description. Let me know what your favorite genre of music to sample is and how you find your samples. And yeah, let's get into the video. So if you think I'm going into this video with zero idea what kind of sample I'm going to find, you are absolutely correct. Okay, I'm going for this one called Lul Lul. It's a pretty cool sample, and I just heard a bit that I can definitely chop into this. So yeah, I'm just going to YouTube to MP3 it and then put it into FL. Okay, so I have this sample here, Lul Lul. I'll just give you a little preview as to what kind of sound it is. So a real, real vintage sample right there. I mean, two reels makes it even older than one. And yeah, just listen through. So I have some real cool chops out of these. I have plenty of ideas on what I can do. Okay, okay, okay. I'm undecided between two chops in this. I have this rough one. I know it's not like perfectly smooth yet, but I will make it if I decide to use it. I have this one, which will literally drop from this into this part. So you can see the rough idea what I'm going for there. And the other idea I have is this one, which is a little more simple, I guess. And this is what it sounds like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them both on time and on tempo and then just decide from there. So that's the first part relatively on time. So now... You're going to make unique and then stretch them to fill in the gaps. As close to on time as I can really get this one. Which I'm kind of happy with, to be honest. That's going to be probably a chorus or something. So this one took some hella chops. What is that? Oh, shit. What is that? And I'm just going to make these unique and stretch them again. Usually, the harder they are to chop them off by the samplers for some reason, I don't even know. So this one should be amazing. So you want to put on generic to stop all clicking as well, because there's tons of clicking when you chop up samples like this. So we have encountered a little issue in the fact that the sample is three-fourths timing. So we're going to have to take a couple of these chops that I like and just add a couple more just to make it 4-4 four, four timing. Okay, I think I have the chops for the verse, so now I'm just going to sort out this part. Okay, so I managed to utilize the little, like, vocal part here. I cannot wait to render this out. This is going to be so, so, so good. As you can see, definitely not made a mess here. So highlight these like that. For the master, click the record button, and it's Alt-R. Okay, now take this part and render this out. Okay, so I've pitched them all up 300, just because it, I don't know, I think it sounds cooler. Um, yeah, now I'm going to send them all to the same mixer track for the same mixing. Okay, so I pitched everything up 600 so you can see the complete chops what I've done. I'm not going to lie, this took me quite a while, so yeah. So yeah, now I'm just going to get to adding some drums. So I'm going to go into my drum collection and just start grabbing some drums. I'm going to grab a rim. Get a hi-hat too, and just two-step for now. Get that fat spins, boy. Up the out and trim it. And just paste that over. Let me put it all in the correct key first. Pitch it up one. Just to make it in a better register. Start messing around with the hi-hats. Oh, hello there! So 
Let's get another open hat in here. Pound one right and one left. This one this way. And this one this way. And maybe have this one just a little lower in velocity. Like that. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Get the snare plug in here and just start adding some bounces. Add the perk fix on every first snare. Get a kick in here, kick 12, just accent. So I don't want to go too overboard on the drums, so I'm literally going to leave it like that for now. So I had a little bit of Effectrix reverse on the hats too. Right, so now I'm going to really quickly arrange this track. So this is how I sampled an old Italian song into a really hard trap beat. So thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Remember to follow me on social media. The links will be in the description and I'll catch you in the next one.